How are you all doing guys, it's Dom here, and today I have a certain pilfer deck which I made just because I wanted to make a Khajiit pilfer deck, but instead, after seeing it not be too successful, I thought, you know what, let's throw an endurance and see what we come up with, and genuinely some of the games that I've had with this have been some of my favourite in a long time. Like, I've moved the third game to the first one just because it's, it's just probably one of the best games I've had this year, and I hope you guys do enjoy this, if you do, please like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll show you how these go in a few matches now. Right, final game and we're up against... Oh, okay, nice. We're up against House Telvani. Cool. Um, this is actually quite nice. Because Galen can go into multiple of anything here. I mean, Master of Thieves would be nice. We get more... Pilfer cards. Fawn Hist Mage is always nice for extra magicka. So we got a few choices. Grey Fox. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. I am kind of tempted to Galen Grey Fox just for the memes. Stealing a bunch of their graveyard and then just looking their entire hand. You know what? I think we're going to have to do it. Bring the officer. We got a lot of legendaries. And epics. Our hand is just legendaries and epics. Wow. Yeah, let's, you know, let's scale in the Grey Fox. I, I kind of have to. I mean, I'm really tempted to go with an actual engine card. But, I don't know, something about multiple Grey Foxes just sounds funny to me. There we go, look at those beauties. Okay. That's cool. Um, and we've already drawn what? Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, we'll go with Fawn Hist Mage for now, though, just because we want more Magicka. But that's... <laughs> shuffle free into your deck. You know what? I'll just put one on top. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, okay. Is the gig up? Do we already show our stronger Grey Foxes? I think we do. Because then we can take Tree Minder as well. So, extra Magicka, here we come. The second one can take the Fawn Hist Mage. Yeah, we'll get down Daring Cut Purse as well, because I feel like Master of Thieves will have good potential next turn. Oh, nice one. Knight of Order. So, I think that Grey Fox doesn't have long left in this world. <laughs> <laughs> but we can just send in another one. Oh, the idea of multiple grey foxes just makes me laugh. I mean, we have made the right choice in play order there. We'll put a stop to their coin. Uh, we'll put down Master Thieves in the shadow lane, just to keep them a bit safer. What have they got in hand? Dragon Cultist Ghost. Okay. And now as our magicka runs away, we've got many legend me yeah, many legendaries we can start to use and you play with. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, not the first grey fox. Oh, for God's sake, it's another grey fox. Um... I don't really want to give up the gig that we got a third one in hand, so let's just put down the original. Just forget about C. Take yeah, Fawn Hist Mage. And yeah, this ring isn't really necessary if we just play another magic boosting card. There we go, they can't stop the army of grey foxes. Don't worry, if those two fall, we got a buddy in hand who can help us out. I like to call him the grey fox. You cannot. I guess that just makes his attack line see you later more relevant because you literally will see him later with a different version. Right, I think that's a Cicero target and a half. Uh, let's see what else they have in hand. Fresh start. Decent draw power. Um, yeah, Knight of the Hour down. Never that happy, to be honest. 
Uh, hopefully Cicero's got a nice target to draw two cards now. Who knows, we could draw into the Grey Fox if we're lucky. Our sphere. Okay. So, um, that is a nice little idea that they've done there. But, uh, Cicero can just avoid that. And, you know, we can actually still destroy all their cards. All the power spheres, at least. Yeah, use Giant Bat. Well, if we put down Brynjolf as well, we get extra Magicka. But, it's not really going to be that much. So... It would just be getting a drain unit down for the sake of having a drain unit. When a few other cards, like the beloved Grey Fox, might seem a bit more useful. Just forget about And if we take... Oh, I was thinking... Shrieking Harpy, actually, you know what? Because we can shackle the Dwarven Colossus. No, I need to, need to actually go with what I say. Nearly put down the wrong card there. Walk with our Lord. I'll do what I can. Right, so all I'm seeing is that Shadow Lane is written off. See what we get with the Scouts report. It's not the Grey Fox, but we'll take it anyway because it's draw power. Um, if we put down Brynjolf, we should be able to get some Magicka throughout this whole endeavour. Shall we put in a dishonest stage And then let's see something else in hand. Speaker Terror. Oh, they, they've got some big cards in hand. And with Master of Thieves, actually, the Grey Foxes will get another attack. Oh, we've been saved by one card. Absolute madness. Thumbnail material right there. Okay, here we go. First game. Assassin. Decent. Could be some sort of last gasp deck, so we'll just keep that in mind. Um, Monk Strike's probably the only thing here that we don't really need too much. Scouts Report, that's fine. Because we can play it early and then just get through our deck a bit. We, we kind of just have to keep a piercing javelin, to be honest. Your destruction is at hand. Um, well, that's kind of... You know what? Yeah, we'll just leave it, because there's no point in putting down the bootlegger for now. Well, we might throw a tree minder at that, but it will mean that we take three damage to face. And yeah, this is looking a bit like a last gasp deck. Right, um, so for our next turns we can either like Blackwood Distiller, try and slay and get some Magicka or Pilfer to do more stuff, or we could just Torval Cook. See, I have a feeling that our Burglar's just going to get completely destroyed the second it taps the field. Die, you are no match for me, Swit. I mean, his mage is actually a good alternative now that I've got it in hand. So if we play that, just get some magic for now. I mean, we do have a decent bit of removal now as well. And interested why that's been played there. Oh well. Grey Fox is here. Cool. Scaleless coward. If we use Torval Cook, we can go back up to a nice five magicka. And then either go with. I think. Blackwood Distiller is probably the best choice because it's got one more health than that Baron, so it could slay to gain us one max Magicka, or it could just pilfer to gain us three Magicka for the turn if that's 
better for the scenario. Let's shed some light on the problem. I have a feeling it will not be getting off its ability. That or they're going to go for the guard. Yeah. Okay, so if we slay that for one Magicka, we can use Master of Thieves and go a bit crazy with Magicka this turn. Main reason why is because we play this and now we gain an extra five Magicka. Um... I, mean, I guess I could just piercing javelin to get rid of that, so it's one less unit to worry about. And we'll try and get the burglar down. It'll probably be destroyed, but will find a way in. If we just throw it down now. Something could happen with it. Yeah, that's going straight for the burglar. Just imagine it being able to get off 12 points of damage to them and drain in one turn. They're not going to allow that to happen. So if we get on our feasting hunger, we can get some health back. Just look for the graveyard, see what we could grey fox into. Herbs can heal or harm. I mean, I can see a good use of Cicero in the shadow lane. You are dead. But if we just get ourselves all of our magicka this turn. All 17 of it, we can work out what we're doing. And there's no reason not to get down there and cut first while we got Master of Thieves on the board. Honestly, I think this like whole Pilfer archetype is really cool, but it definitely needs support cards from Endurance or a different attribute. Because I feel like alone as a Pilfer Monk deck, it usually feels very limited. I mean, I might as well bring you off because I'll be doing a bit of Pilfering this turn. Uh, we'll get rid of one of the two, it doesn't really matter. It's just about what we want to keep health for. And to be honest, Master of Thieves is giving us a lot of extra attacks, so we keep them a bit healthier for now. That spoils the war is just going to be a few easy cards because we've got many ways of hitting face. Really hope we draw an ultimate heist off our 18 Magicka. Uh, we'll just Grey Fox this turn. And, I mean... We've got a few interesting choices. We could a do some weird stuff with Dark ages. Rebirth. Thank you. The main reason why I took Dark Rebirth is because we can just re-summon something if needed. And we might as well get down that for two more health. Although it does mean we have played sort of into an ice storm. I mean, we'd still keep, what, one, two, three, four, five units? They best not anger me. Okay, cool. Uh, Cicero can probably give that one a pop. I mean, don't really need to, actually. We can just kill them in the field lane. Oh, that Magicka. Okay, who are we up against? It's a warrior. Nice. How does Prowler just get some early moves in? So much for a clean escape. Golden Initiate will start really draining them. I mean, things we've actually got a decent start up here. And we're getting these hits for free. So uh, if we use Tree Minder as well. Thing is, I've got Grey Fox, but they haven't actually got anything for me to grab yet. At least, I'm kind of concerned because they've got so up to four power or four Magicka with the ring. 
Well, surely they'd want to play by now. This one I recommend to clear him. I mean, pop me onto the Grey Fox just so I can see what's in their hand. <laughs> Unless the deck's one of these ones which tries to wait till like turn five and go crazy. So much for a clean escape. Eta I mean, they've lost half their health and are yet to play a card. I'm tempted to just play Feasting Hunger to speed this up, then I won't get his effect. Hallowed Death Priest, that. Yeah, nothing's touching my Grey Fox. <sighs> I mean, it's a good card. Issue is they might have left it a bit late. Night of the hour. Let none defile our temple. Three gods. Okay. And hang on, we won, yeah. My, Monk Strike and Bootlegger is just a win. <laughs> right, well, that's that was an impressive game. They played two cards. I'm, I'm not even sure if I want to show. It. Yeah, no, it was. It still shows off how to like avo avoid guards, I guess. Oh well.